Hey everybody, it's Stephanie with All By The Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Promising Young Woman. So Promising Young Woman is a rated R thriller comedy that's an hour and 54 minutes long. It is directed by Emerald Fennell. It's actually her first uh, feature directorial debut. This actually had an early 2020 release during Sundance and then it had a limited theatrical release on Christmas Day but it officially dropped on VOD. Sorry my little book was falling. <laughs> but it officially dropped on VOD or Video On Demand on January the 15th. For my previous four videos even though it it did have an early 2020 release whether it had been limited or during Sundance I saw it in 2021 and it did officially drop on a lot of platforms during 2021 so I am incorporating within my 2021 uh, watch list it does star Carrie Mulligan and she plays Cassandra and then her love interest uh, Bo Burden plays Ryan so promising young woman takes on the institution that basically protects the rapist and the fallacy of the nice guy Every week, I go to a club, I act like I'm too drunk to stand, and every week, a nice guy comes over to see if I'm okay. You okay? Now this is going to be a spoiler free review you guys, but again this is about sexual assault, about rape. Even though, if I recall correctly, I don't think the word rape was actually ever really uh, said within the, the, the film. So I do want to point something out to like real life survivors. Just kind of be cautious and just kind of be aware of your own personal triggers. Of course, Promising Young Woman is a revenge tell. Now the script is very sharp and fresh. The colors in this movie, you guys, oh my god, they're so like yummy. They're so colorful. And honestly, you guys, the movie wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I mean, it ended up being more. I didn't realize it was going to be as funny as it was. And the music choices was really good as well. The last thing I was expecting out of this movie was Paris Hilton's song, Stars Are Blind, to come out. They also have a really nice, like, violin orchestra deal, I don't know, of uh, Britney Spears' Toxic, and I love the way that it was uh, used within the movie. After watching it, I wish I had seen Promising Young Woman instead of Wonder Woman in theaters, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, when I did my Wonder Woman review, I was like, you know, it was fine, but then, like, afterward, I'm just like, I have so many questions about the movie, and now I'm just like you know what I should have just watched it on HBO Max and have just seen Promising Young Woman last year because I'm gonna just say it now this movie would have made it into my top 10 of 2020 the acting was great I mean Carrie Mulligan she of course is getting talked about this movie left and right she of course is the standout she is the the main um character within the movie Laverne Fox also comes on it she has like a really small and Jennifer uh, was her name Coolidge Coolidge whatever she comes on the movie and I'm just like I don't think I've ever seen her as a brunette and I'm just like film does have a lot of really good cameos I really don't have anything bad I guess if if you want something bad <laughs> if I need to nitpick at it I guess the only thing would be her notebook so she's always like and that's like that's not a spoiler that's not a spoiler I don't think it is because it, it you see it in the film where she's like marking off they never really explain like all the tally marks I mean obviously those are like her victims but she does have them in different colors she writes some of their names down so I'm just kind of like why are you basically doing two things to keep track um is it a purpose a point to each color or is it just this is just a pin that I picked up and this is just the color that's gonna be. I was never fully explained. Other than that, I don't really have big major issues with the movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, I guess what I can bring up is the ending. Again, spoiler free, but a lot of people are having a lot of problems with the ending. They're not liking it. They're like, everything was great, everything was perfect, except for the ending. At the end, I feel like it's just, they are not happy with how uh, Casey's character ended up. I understand it. I get it. I mean, trust me, when it was happening, I said, oh, that must be why. So this is me pre-warning you that you may or may not enjoy the ending. I do want to re-watch it again, though, because I did uh, watch it within the screener. I don't have the best of luck with the screener. There's always something going on. This one was buffering quite a bit, and there was oh, also... Alfred Molina has a small cameo within the movie as well. So basically that whole scene when she's with him, 
there was no audio at all. You guys can let me know if you've seen it. Like, how important was that? I'm ready to rewatch it. I'm ready to buy the movie, honestly. Before I do give you a, my score, which I feel like you're gonna know what it is by me already telling you how much I loved it. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I would love to do it by the summer, but if not, hopefully by the end of the year, I can get there and hopefully you can help me reach that goal. So, Promising Young Woman is such a great movie. Emerald Fennell does an amazing job. Definitely an Oscar contender, especially Carrie Mulligan. I mean, if she doesn't get nominated as a, like a major snub, I feel like it could also get a direction nomination. The pacing was good as well. Again, I just missed that small little deal because the screener wasn't working but it is what it is i will watch it again so with all that said i am of course giving promising young woman a large popcorn if you've seen promising young woman let me know down below what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you haven't yet seen it are you looking forward to renting it again it is available video on demand i think you can get it like through the prime early access and i think google play also has it i really truly encourage you to watch the movie it's great it's phenomenal i guess that's all that i have to say about promising young woman of course until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye